Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I am going to take you on a tour of the 2023 Regency Ultra Brome 25IB. Here is an overview of the layout along with some specifications. It has a fresh water capacity of 26 gallons, a black water capacity of 37 gallons, the propane tank capacity is 57 pounds, and it has a gray water capacity of 39 gallons. And here are the features and options. So let's get started. There's an integrated side step for the passenger. Down here, there's some storage. Large awning on top. Some more storage. couple of 110 outlets. Frameless windows. Some more storage. Another storage compartment. Right here, there's pass-through storage. Moving to the rear, there's an integrated backup camera above. Moving down below, there's a 6,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin connection. And take a look at the clearance. You can see the leveling system right there. Okay, let's move on over to the driver's side. Other side to that pass through storage. Now down here, you have the storage for your sewer hose. Sewer connection is right there below and your water connection. Opening windows above. Right here is your outdoor shower. 30 amp connection. another storage area. And yet again, some more storage. Integrated sidestep for the driver. Opening up that driver's door, you can access your diesel input. All right, take a look at the front. Okay, time to check out the inside of this RV. Keyless entry, let's open up that door. Power step. Now right here in this entrance door, there's a screen door. Grab handle right here on the side, but also right here in the entrance, there's this pull down shade for privacy and another pull down screen. All right, grab handle on the inside also. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, let's start in the cockpit area. Now I do have to duck my head to enter as well as take a step down. So let's check it out. So there's some nice comfortable quilted seats, it has an armrest, and take a look at the dash. The steering wheel has some controls right here at your fingertips. Right on top of the dash, there's a little area for some storage and a couple of drink holders. Moving to the center, there's a covered storage area with a 12 volt, as well as a USB port right on the side of it. Up here on the rear view mirror, there's an in-mirror backup camera. 
Moving below, there's a touchscreen infotainment center. Four more drink holders right below. And below that, there is a 12 volt and a USB port. Moving to the passenger side, there's another storage area on top with a couple of drink holders. And right below, there's a ledge for some storage. Now, above both the driver and passenger, there's a ledge for additional storage. So let's check out the rest of this RV. Now, right behind the driver and passenger seats, there's, there's this large storage area with a light. Above, there's a really big skylight that you can pop on open. It comes with a bug screen and a shade. Now on the passenger side here, you have your surge guard and below that a stereo system. Now moving above the entry door, there's a smart level system, the system for your battery and tank monitoring, a couple of controllers for your lithium system. Over here is the red energy controller, coach light switch, step override switch, exterior lights, cargo lights, cabinet lights, all located right there. Battery disconnect switch right below. And right here is for your awning where you can extend, retract, and have the wind settings. Now right behind the cockpit area, there's some additional passenger seats and they each come with a seat belt. They're quite roomy and comfortable. And they each have a table. I've inserted this one to show you that you can open it up and you can have your little snack, your meal, you can even use it as a workstation because on each side there's also two 110 outlets and a couple of USB ports. Now this seating area also transforms into a bed. Let me show you. All right, so I'm going to slide the table out of the way. Remove the cushion, set them aside. Pull up on this right here and set it on down. Put the cushion on in. And this is what it looks like made into a single bed. So let's give it a try. It's got a pretty good length to it. Nice and cozy. Good size for one person. Oh, I have to flip this up. There we go. All right, now they're back in two, two separate seating areas. And from both of these passenger seats, you can view the TV that does swivel out. Now, right on the side of the passenger seat on the driver's side, there's your Truma controller for your hot water and in-cabin heating and an accent light switch for the kitchen, which we are going to check out right now. So this is a kitchen area, nice little corner L-shaped. So you can see there's a good amount of countertop space solid surface countertops. The sink is covered. It is a really big stainless steel, really large pull-out sprayer on the faucet, two burner induction cooktop, and let's check out the storage below. So right below that there's a drawer and three more right below. Let's check them out. all the same size. There's a cabinet on the side. Over here, there's another pull out cabinet and that's where you would put your trash can. Now right on the side here is a large slide out pantry. Now right in front of this kitchen area, there's a large window area. These two windows below do open up awning style. 
has a screen in them and an extra screen that you can pull down with a pull down shade for privacy. There are a couple of 110 outlets right there beside the TV so you can plug in any additional appliances. All right, let's check out the upper cabinet. So the first one has a couple of cable outlets and HDMI and two 110 outlets. Let's check out the second one. Good amount of storage space in there. Here's the third and the fourth. Now right on top is a power air vent. All right, let's check out the appliances across here. So there's the microwave. And it is convection. Refrigerator below. Three levels of storage and three pull-out bins. Now the door has some bins for storage that are adjustable light out freezer with a divider. All right, now let's check out the bathroom. So behind door number one is the shower. Let's take a look. So right here on the door, they've put a mirror, towel bar right below. And you know, it's not huge, but it's not too bad. There's a large skylight above that is curved, giving me some more head space. They've included this cover that you can snap into place if you want to cover the skylight. Backlighting on the side here. The shower head has some adjustments on it. And there's this shower curtain that you just pull right across. Now this door has a latch on it so you can close it and it encloses the whole bedroom, giving you some privacy. Now let's check out door number two. So behind here is your toilet and vanity area. All right, let's go in and check it out. Now it does feel a little tight. Let's start with the medicine cabinet. So there's this large mirror on the door, some storage in there, three levels of storage. A little bit of countertop space here with a little sink, a couple of 110 outlets to plug in whatever you need, your razor or whatnot, a little towel holder, cabinet space above, there's a power air vent, and a pretty good sized toilet that is porcelain. Moving right across, this is how you would flush your toilet toilet paper holder, and some cabinet space in there. Right on the side of the medicine cabinet is your switch for your bathroom light and the switch for the bathroom fan. All right, let's check out the bedroom. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Take a look. So you can walk around the bed. I'm going to start with the driver's side. So this side has a large window. This side serves as an emergency exit and this side also opens up. Awning style. Has that screen in it. Pull down screen. Pull down shade for privacy. On the side here there's a wardrobe with a hanging rod. Right below there's a light switch for your bedroom lights and a couple of 110 outlets along with two USB ports. A little drawer below and some storage below that. Okay, right here is the TV that you can watch while laying in bed. Now, right underneath the bed, there is some storage, so I'm going to show you. And let's check out the drawers below. There's the lower one and the one on top. Let's move over to the passenger side.
wardrobe on this side also with a hang rod. Below is the light switch for the back lighting for the headboard mirror area. A couple of 110 outlets with some USB ports. Drawer below along with a cabinet. Let's check out the cabinet in the center. Big cabinet. Take a look. Right underneath there's a couple of lights and a couple of speakers. Moving back to the driver's side, again a large opening window area. This side serves as an emergency exit and right here opens up awning style with the screen in it. Additional screen that you can pull down and a shade for privacy. Right across there's a switch for your bedroom lights and this switch is for the bathroom, the shower room. Now the AC unit is located in the bedroom area inside of this coach and it has the controls right on it. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Regency Ultra Brome 25IB. Now this coach provides plenty of storage throughout and it has the separated bathroom so it's not a wet bath has a private bedroom area in the rear. It has seatbelts for four and sleeps three. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.